All right, let's get into how to seed track meet. So what I've got here is I've got a meet that I downloaded from online registration with MileSplit. So uh, if we go over here to our events, we see like 100 meters. We've got nobody in here because they're all on here under all heats. They are not seated. So um, what we want to do is, first of all, what I'll show you can do, is you can edit this event here. And you want to edit all your events and say how many rounds there are. So if you want to have a prelim round and a finals round, just said there's two rounds. And so let me save that. So now if I go here and I'm going to seed, I click the seed button right hand side I've got my 100 meter dash selected you see I, it says four heats here and under unassigned I've got a everybody because nobody's assigned what I can do at this point is I can scratch a few people um, there's other ways to scratch but if we want to scratch here I just double click on him he goes to scratch double clicked on this guy he goes scratched all right so we got two in the scratched leaving us with 43 unassigned so want to do is we want to set up our rules over here on the right hand side and you'll see by the way up here go to 100 meter dash you'll see that is the one that is selected so we want to say uh, if we got seeds in here which we do we want to um, assign heats by time um, you can decide if you want to go for full heats versus balanced heats so if you understand what that is um, that basically means that uh, do you want to try to have all the heats with an even number or do you want to fill as many heats as possible which might mean you have like three left over in the last heat um, we're going to go with balanced heats, which is what I think most people usually do. Um, and we, if you want to start the fastest heat first or the fastest heat last, so we're going to go worst to best, fast heat last. And uh, and then we want to, this is really doesn't matter here, this is from prelims to finals, so that would matter later. Um, we can determine the number of lanes that we have on our track. And we're going to assign uh, by lane preference. And then finally, um, lane order. We want the best together, best spread out. We're going to go with serpentine seating, which is sort of like um, that, but not. Um, and so, um, so that's kind of like best spread out, but it's slightly different. It's going to spread out people in multiple heats um, that are fast, not have every, all the fast people in one. Um, so we're going to seed this round. We we'll just click seed round. It says there are currently four heats. But based on the number of entries, you need six. So it's automatically telling you, hey, you got too many people. Do you want to add the additional heats? And we'll say, okay, go ahead and do that. So it has assigned my six heats for me. You see, they all have seven or eight people in each heat. And uh, if we're good with that, um, we can save our changes. If we're not good with that, we can tweak our settings over here a little bit. Or we can, uh, we can move stuff around. So if we say, oh, we really want him over in this lane here. I can just drag and drop and I can move him there. If we say, oh, well, this guy should have been scratched, I can double click on him and he moves down to scratched. So we can adjust this from here. And then um, I click save. It says seating saved. And I can go back. It's going to just confirm again. I don't want to save anything else. And you'll see back here now I have everybody in their heats. So uh, we can automate this so it goes a lot faster. Uh, and I'll do that in the next one.